Welcome everyone. This is a little tech talk to discuss and summarize Werner self-retracting lifelines, changes in the categories, and the applicable ANSI standard. The 2014 version of ANSI Z359.14 classified SRLs by performance. There was a class A and a class B, and then there were subcategories for SRLs like rescue and leading edge. It was a little confusing because you had to match the performance numbers of the SRLs to your application. So to make it a little easier, there's now only two classes of SRLs. There's no more subcategories. Class one SRLs are above back D ring units intended for anchorage locations at or above the harness back D ring. When tested, class one units must arrest a fall within 42 inches and have an average arresting force of 1,350 pounds. Class two are below back D-ring units, intended for anchorage locations at or below a back D-ring, as low as foot level. When tested, class two units have to pass the same test as class one, but then they're also subjected to the leading edge tests. With the LE test, class two units must keep arresting forces below 1,350 pounds, and the arrest distance must be printed on the label. Since class two units work in both applications above and below the back D-ring, some companies elect, if they want to, to go to exclusively class two units for all their applications. So let's talk specifically about the Werner SRLs. First of all, these SRLs were available when the standard first came out, which is nice being first to market. There's already a couple of years of use on the models proving their ability. They're known for freedom of movement, having a higher line lock speed it prevents them from locking up unintentionally when you're working yet they lock up very quickly when a fall occurs both classes of werner srls arrest the falls within 24 inches when they're anchored overhead this exceeds the 42 inches allowed by the standard the larger 50 and 65 foot units require 32 inches to arrest a fall which is still less than the allowed 42 and exceeding the standard to assist with identifying the class, Werner SRLs are color-coded, blue being the class one units and yellow being the class two. The labels on the SRLs are durable and recessed below the edges of the housing to give them a little bit of protection and increase their longevity. The carrying handle makes the unit very easy to carry around and it isn't a closed loop where someone will mistakenly connect to it. It is worth noting that your 2014 variations of your SRLs are not illegal. They can remain in service as long as they continue to pass inspection until they life and cycle out of use. Organizations can certainly choose to transition to the new SRLs, but you're not required to by law, by ANSI, or by Werner to update all your SRLs. The published and effective dates of a standard really only apply to manufacturers of SRLs. As a consumer, you're allowed to use previous models until they cycle out of service. The ANSI Z359 committee is getting so many questions about this, they have put out a bulletin to help clarify this point. Thank you, everybody. I hope this helps. Reach out to Werner if you have any questions.